Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to iFilm Things. I am Philip, and today I'm going to teach you how to relink your media in What in the YouTube friendly language is that? Where the hell did I just go? That was a nightmare. I've seen things. Terrible. Terrible things. Anyway, so you've lost your media. Well, don't you worry, dear viewer, it's happened to the best of us. And today, I have the answer. It's so simple, even a fool could do it. And today, I am that fool. First things first, we have to ask the question, how does Premiere Pro deal with media? Well, when you import media into Premiere Pro, it's not making a separate copy. It's more of a directory or a map to show you what you're working with. The clips themselves are still on your hard drive, or wherever it is you're keeping them. So if you change where the clips are located, or disconnect the hard drive, or change the name of the file itself, or the folder it's in, you have broken the link. You have changed the destination on the map. So Premiere Pro doesn't know where the files went. And when that happens, you need to tell Premiere Pro what you have changed, how you have changed it, and where the files are. So let me show you what I mean. I've thrown together some clips on my timeline, and here they are in my project panel. Now I'm going into my folders, and I'm going to take the clips from their original folder, and then put them in the bigger folder. Once we've done that, Premiere Pro is going to freak out a little bit, and a link media window will open up, asking, Hey, where did the files go, friend? Then we have to tell Premiere Pro what we changed. But before that, I need to show you some of these options. For the most part, we can keep these settings as is. But if you changed the name of the file, then uncheck file name. Or you change the type of file, say you converted an MP4 into an MOV, for example, then uncheck the file extension. And you can leave the rest alone. Especially keep relink others automatically checked, as this will relink any other clips you have in the same folder automatically. Also keep Preserve Interpret Footage Settings. What the hell is it? Sorry, I'm gonna have to read some script. <laughs> so, also keep... Preserve... <laughs> also keep Preserve Interpret Footage Settings, as this will keep the changes on the timeline the same. If you have clips that you deleted or that you don't really care about anymore, then simply uh, click on Offline and Premiere Pro will skip them. But let's get on with relinking the files that I moved. With the first clip selected, click on Locate. Then a window will open up showing all my local drives. Now, if you know where your clips might be, this will be way easier. Just navigate to the folder where you moved them, select your first clip, and click OK to reconnect all the clips. If you forget which clip you're looking for, then check the last path bar at the top of the window, and that will tell you where Premiere Pro says the last clips were, and it will tell you which clip you're looking for. Now, because we moved all of the clips into the same folder, Premiere Pro was able to relink all of them automatically at the same time, and this will work for all types of media, including project files. However, if you rename everything and put everything into separate folders, it will take a hell of a lot longer to get everything back. So, don't do that. Next, let's see what happens when I rename a clip in the folders. And just like that, our old pal, the link media window, is back to ask us where that clip has got to. So I'm going to uncheck the file name option, because I changed the file name, and click locate. Now I know what I changed the name to, so this will be very easy. But just in case, I'm also going to check the thumbnail to make sure it's the right clip, select it, and click OK. And there we go, it's all reconnected. Oh, one last thing. If you have a lot of files to look through, or your clips are hard to spot quickly when you're trying to reconnect your media, you can click on Display Only Exact Name Matches, and this will narrow down the search to help you find what you're looking for. But remember, this particular one only works if you haven't changed the file name. And that is it, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. That is how you can simply reconnect your media whenever you've lost it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, do YouTube stuff. And as always, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!